Hi, my name is Amber, and I am the Regional Education Manager for the Central Region. And today what I want to do is tell you how to use Agora Real. First and foremost, what I wanted to let you know is you might have noticed that we've got a refresh on Agora Real. So you'll notice there's actually more sustainable packaging for the new Agora Real. So with that being said, the box is actually made now of 96% sugarcane paper. Your aluminum tube inside is 100% recycled aluminum. And what you will notice is that the end cap is actually smaller so that we have less plastic waste. So we want it to be more sustainable, but be sure that we are actually, have changed. we have not changed the formula. So the best thing about this is that there has been no formula change. We really just wanted to be sustainable. So if you have seen our new packaging and love it, give us a like on all of our social media, but we're super happy to become more sustainable and also just to get a refreshed look. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to use Agora Real. And so let's first and foremost, if you're new to the brand and have never used it, you may not even know what each color box means. So on this slide here, I wanna show you what each one means. So when we're looking at this particular slide, a red box, which is right there in the center, is always going to be your main Agora Real permanent hair color. If we go to the right of that, your blue box is always going to be our high lift series. We'll talk more about that later on. And then our purple box is always going to be our fashion light. So it determines what category. Going back to the red box in the center and going to the left of that, the first color is that taupe color. And those are our Agora Royal Absolutes, which are pre-blended fashion shades for 100% white coverage, which we'll get into later on in this presentation. And right next to that, we have our Agora Silver White, also part of the Absolute category. There's only four shades. We're gonna show that to you later on, but I just wanted to let you know what the different colors of the boxes actually represented so that you know moving forward. So let's first and foremost talk about the technology because the technology is what actually makes Agora Real work as well as it does. So we have something that we call high definition technology. This high definition technology does a lot of things for us when it comes to color. It's going to give us a clear tone direction. It's going to enhance our true to swatch results. True to swatch being that the swatch is actually going to be the color of the shade that you're using. So for instance, if I'm putting a level five color, I'm putting on a level five swatch versus putting it on a white swatch. So you're truly getting true to swatch results. Some companies will put a level five on a white swatch. So it's hard to know what it'll look like on that level five swatch. So we actually do our swatches on level, which is great. It also is gonna help you get amplified intensity and maximum coverage with your Agora Real hair color. What does all of this is a lipid carrier system that's going to amplify that pigment concentration. When I hear high definition, I immediately think of television screens. If we think back in the day before high definition television screens came out, I could watch a football game and I could see the graphs, I could see the players, but nothing was crisp and clear. But then high definition technology came out for TVs and I could literally see the muscle tone on those football players. I could count the blades of grass. The high definition technology within Agora Real hair color does the same thing for our color. It's going to give that crisp, that clear tone direction. It's gonna give us that maximum shine. In all of that, is part of that lipid carrier system. And we're gonna find that in the oil that is in our developers. So when we're looking at this high definition technology, you'll notice that in the Agora Real color back in 2006, our developers had a lot of water and a little bit of oil. In 2013, we reformulated and that's when we had almost equal parts oil and water. What I recommend you do after watching this video is take two cups of water, one most of the way with water, the other halfway, Use vegetable oil for the other half. You're gonna then take five drops of any shade of food coloring that is your favorite. You're gonna drop those five drops into both glasses, stir them up, and can you guess which one is going to have a more rich color to it? If you guessed the one with more oil, you guessed correctly. So again, this is gonna give you less dilution of those pigments. It's going to give you increased effective concentration of the pigments, alkalizers and peroxide, peroxide, and it's gonna give you that sealing and tear effect along with improved overall performance and lasting performance. And look at the vibrant reds that they have. Absolutely amazing. So being we're on the topic of developers, you'll notice that the packaging has also changed for the developers to match your Agora Real. If we're talking about the Agora Real developers, there's four. 
just like most other color lines, there's a 3% or 10 volume, 6% or 20 volume, 9% or 30 volume, and 12% or 40 volume. My 10 volume is meant mainly for going darker and covering 100% white coverage on fine hair, and also to use with any of our creative pastels or toners. My 20 volume is great for tone on tone coloration and also giving me 100% white coverage. This is gonna give me also up to one full level or up to two full levels of lift. My 30 volume then is gonna give me up to three levels of lift and it's recommended in our Dash Zero Zero series if you're under 90% white, which we will talk about when we get there. And then in our 40 volume, we're gonna use that mainly for fashion lights and high lift series. It can get you up to four levels of lift in the regular range and up to five levels of lift in our high lift series. Let's talk about the number system. This is the most important part to understanding how to use our brand on all sides because all of Agora Real, Agora Vibrance, Agora Color 10 uses the same number system. So when we're looking at this image here, it's showing us that that number before the dash is always your depth or your level. That first number after the dash is that primary color direction. The second number after the dash is that secondary color direction. In this example, it's a level five and it's a dash six eight, which is a chocolate red. Think of your primary color is chocolate and my reflection or secondary color is red. Because I'm a visual person and I sometimes need a visual, for me, what I like to think of it as when I'm looking at this number before the dash, again, that's my depth or my level, that first number after the dash is approximately two parts of that color direction. And that second number is approximately one part of that color direction. So in this, it's a level five chocolate red. It's chocolate with a red reflection. Now you'll notice that we do also have three numbers on some of our shades, especially in our absolutes range. So think of that first number still being that primary color direction. Second number is going to be that secondary color direction. And then that last number is your reflective tone or in the absolute range, it basically just means there's gray coverage. Whenever you see a dash zero, you know that that's going to have that gray coverage in it. Now, those are the numbers on the box. Let's talk about where those numbers lie on the color circle, because that's going to be super important. So when we're looking at the numbers, we need to know what these numbers mean. <clears throat> so when we're looking at this color circle, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little bit larger. So in your new Agora Real book, in the very back, there is actually a paper swatch chart. In this paper swatch chart, you also have a color circle over here, the same one you're seeing on this page. So this can be referenced for you later on. Every color category that we have in the range is listed on this color circle. So you can see where it lies on the color circle. So if I'm seeing orange, I know that I can come across my color circle and I can find something across from it that's going to counteract that. Now, when we open this up, it does have all of the shades. And again, this is in the back of your Agora Real book. So super easy to find. Now let's talk about the numbers. When we're looking at the numbers, there, there are literally just nine numbers. If somebody said that you have to learn another language, but the caveat is there's only nine words in the other language, just put in different orders. You could probably learn it pretty quickly. Same thing with this. So I'm gonna simplify it for you. Dash zero is always natural or neutral. It's a neutral tone direction, not too warm, not too cool, just a natural tone direction. One through three are my cooler shades. If I'm seeing a lower number, I know that that's a cooler shade. So let's break those down. Dash one is my Sandre or blue violet. Blue violet is gonna kick out unwanted yellow orange. So you'll see that in your, a lot of your levels eight and above. My dash two is going to be my ash, which is a blue background. My ash or blue is gonna kick out any unwanted orange. So you'll see that in a lot of your levels six and seven. Dash three is going to be my mat, which is my green color direction, that's gonna kick out any unwanted red. So that's really great in anything level five and below when I know there's going to be red. So again, dash zero is my natural or neutral. One through three are my cooler shades. Four through six, my middle shades are my warmer shades. Dash four is going to be my beige, which is a muted gold. So think of a softer gold shade. Dash five then is gold, which is a gold or yellow tone direction. Dash six is chocolate. I like to think of chocolate as cinnamon. When I see cinnamon, it's a rich brown with a almost a coppery reflection. That's what our chocolate is. So again, dash zero, natural, neutral, one through three, cool shades. So lower numbers, cool shades. Middle numbers, warm shades. That leaves our high numbers. So level seven and above are my red shades. 
Dash seven is my copper, which is a copper or orange color direction. Dash eight is a red, red color direction. And dash nine is my violet, which is a violet color direction. So again, dash zero is natural neutral. My low numbers are always gonna be cooler. Middle numbers are warmer and higher numbers are my reds. So hopefully that'll make it easier for you if you are new to the brand. Uh, if you are new to the brand, I always say write it down and put it back into your color bar so it makes it easier for you to remember because once you memorize it, it's super simple because the entire range has this, whether you're in Agora Vibrance, whether you're in Agora Real, uh, Essensity, anything we have has the exact same number system. Now let's move into what shades are going to give me 100% white coverage within the Agora Real range. If we look here, you can see it says my dash zero, which is natural, dash one, which is Sandre, dash four, which is beige, and dash six, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these shades look like. When we're looking at the chart, nine dash zero, those are 100% white coverage on their own. If you see the dash one, that's my Sandre, that's that blue violet. My dash four is going to be that beige. Notice that is a muted gold. And then we also have dash six, three in this range, which is a chocolate matte. It's a really beautiful shade that I like to call the Kardashians of the line because it's super rich chocolate, but it's got that matte or green base to kick out unwanted red. So when somebody says I want chocolate, but I don't want to see red, dash six, three is my go-to. Now, the reason it's important to know that we have four ranges that give you 100% white coverage on their own is that I can mix these with any fashion shade in the range and know I'll get 100% white coverage. So for instance, if I want to get a beautiful copper shade and I want it to be a reflective copper, if I mix a natural or neutral with that copper, I'm going to brown it out. So if I instead mix, say, a dash four, which is already a muted gold and reflective shade, I know that I'm going to maintain the reflective results and get great coverage. So same thing if I'm thinking of like a very cool tone, like say I want a six dash nine nine, but I want it to be a cooler tone direction. If I add in a natural, what I'm going to do is brown out my color, and that's not what I want to do. If I really want that 6-99 and I want to keep it a cool shade, add in a dash one. That dash one is that Sandre, which is blue-violet. It's going to keep the coolness of that shade versus browning it out. So it's great that we have actually four different ranges that on their own give 100% white coverage. I think it's pretty amazing, actually. <clears throat> so moving now into our next range, uh, what I want to talk about now is we do have one other range that gives you 100% white coverage, but there's a caveat to this. So within this range, this is our dash zero zero or natural extra. You're going to notice that there's only four shades in this range. It's a level five through a level nine, a dash zero zero. Looking back at this slide, you'll notice that that's because these have 25% more pigment weight than the regular dash zero. So these shades are meant for your clients who have coarse resistant white hair. That being said, I'm gonna look over here where it says 90 to 100% gray coverage, 20 volume is recommended. If we look down here, if I'm 90% or less gray, it's recommended for 30 volume. So let me explain. So when we think of a tube of color, a tube of color here has what we'll, we'll say that the pigments in this are flat balloons. When we think of a balloon when it's flat, a flat balloon has a very dense, shade to it, but as I blow a balloon up, it becomes more sheer. So if I have extra pigments in this one tube of color, and they're all flat balloons, if I blow them up to 20 volume, it's a pretty dense balloon still. So if I put that on previously colored hair, on natural brown hair, it could look a little deeper than the level I want it to look at. Like, so if I blow it up to 30 volume, it's a little more sheer and will appear the level it's supposed to. However, if I'm on 90 to 100% white, I need it to be dense, so I'll keep it at that 20 volume because I need that density. So it could be an instance where on the front, she's 100% white, and in the back, she's 50% white. I would use my 20 volume on the front to get that really intense white coverage, and then I would do the 30 volume in back so I have a more sheer balloon so that my color looks the level that it is. Now, these can also be added into any of your formulations whenever you are trying to get gray coverage to achieve that 100% white coverage. If I am mixing this into a color formula, I'll just use 20 volume. It's when I use it by itself that you really need to stick to that. If it's 90 or above, 20 volume. If it's under 90% white, then 30 volume. Now, moving on to the next, which is going to be our fashion lights or fashion shades. 
So what's really cool about us is, except for those five lines that we have, everything else is considered a fashion shade. All of our fashion shades, notice this right here, get up to 70% white coverage, 70%. So that being said, I know that I'm already getting great white coverage, but what if I know that I need 100% white coverage? In my fashion shades, if I'm looking for 100% white coverage, it is a ratio of one part of my desired shade, sorry, two parts of my desired shade, only one part of a natural. So two parts of my fashion shade, one part natural. Why is that good? Because then I'm gonna see my natural shade. So let's give an example, say 6-88 for instance. 6-88, I really want this level six red extra. I would do say 30 grams of my 6-88 and then up to 20 grams of my 6-0 if I want to neutralize it or I can mix it with like a 6-4 if I want to keep that reflection. And so 30 and 20 equal 50. So it would be 50 grams of your 20 volume Agora Real developer. Now what I would say to you is that our reds are very intense. So if you are doing a red shade, a lot of times I like to do equal parts, but you can do one part of your fashion shade and two parts of, sorry, two parts of your fashion shade and one part of a natural is going to give you that 100% gray coverage and give you a really great fashion shade. Now, let's take a look at what our fashion shades look like. I wanna talk you through the shades that we have to offer because I feel like that's really important to know what shades are available within this range, especially if you're new to the range. If we're looking at this, you'll see our first column here is our natural shades, but these are gonna be cool shades. So these are gonna be the coolest shades in the core range. So 8-11 is a Sandre Extra, a 6-12 is a level six, and that's a Sandre with an ash. So a blue violet, blue background, and 4-13 is gonna be a level four, and that's a Sandre matte. So that's gonna be a blue violet green. So these are the coolest shades in the core range. When we're looking in the next column, dash one six, I like to think of these, it's a Sandre, chocolate, but think of that Sandre as being even more smoky than the Sandre would normally be. So that blue violet is stronger. So I like to think of the Dash 1-6 as a mushroom brown. It gives you the most beautiful mushroom brown because it's that really beautiful smoky chocolate shade. Dash 2-1 is that ash or blue, and then Sandre, which is a blue violet. So it's blue, blue violet. These are very strong. I use these a lot when I'm in a correction situation. So maybe uh, somebody has a lot of orange in their hair and I need some blue to really knock out that unwanted orange. I like to use these shades for that because the blue in these is so strong that it may show up if I was to put 7-21, which is that blue, blue, violet on a pure white shade, it would be a deep, almost blue shade because it's so strong. So I like to use the 7-21, for instance, if I have hot roots and I have a lot of orange, I might use that to help correct or if I'm lifting to a level seven, I know there's a lot of blue to kick out the unwanted orange that's gonna be in the hair. The 5 2 one is a great, just really cool level five. Now, if we're looking at the dash two four and also the dash four two, so that's going to be your ash beige and your beige ash. These four shades are called the muted desert shades. And when you think of muted desert, you think of the sand. Think of sand looking almost gray, but has a little bit of warmth to it. These shades are the closest to that natural level seven to level nine blonde that is almost that dishwater blonde that I've ever seen in my life. If somebody wants to go back to their natural shade, it's so hard to find that shade that's right there in that range and these both hit it. So the dash two four, that blue is really strong in this. So it will give you that smokiness. It's almost gray, but has a hint of a gold reflection. When we look at the dash four two, there's more beige. So you're gonna see that more warmth up front, but then you have that ash that's going to kick out the unwanted warmth. So that's a blue that's kicking out the unwanted orange. I like to mix these together equal parts to get the most beautiful, just natural shades. So for instance, nine dash two four equal parts with nine dash four two is absolutely stunning. Now moving into the next range, dash four six. These are our nude shades. They came out when nude shades were super popular. I love these shades because they're really great for low lighting on blondes because you've got that chocolate. So it almost acts like a filler for the hair and then you're left with this beautiful beige tone. So really great for low lighting, but a really beautiful shade because the dash four or beige in this is a little cooler than the regular dash four. So love these shades, I'm obsessed with them. <clears throat> dash five and dash five five. Whenever you see two numbers next to each other, 
just know that's an intense shade. So if we look at a 6-5, it's a natural gold. If we look at 7-55, that's a level 7, and that's gold extra. So that means it's more intense gold. I like using these shades as well because the gold is a natural gold. It doesn't look just like orange. It's just a very natural gold shade. 7-57 and 5-57. Those two shades are another one of my favorites. It's a gold copper. I think of them as a natural auburn tone. If somebody came in and said, I was a redhead when I was younger, I want to go back to my natural. My go-to shade is the dash 5-7 because that gold copper is a very close to a natural auburn tone. Dash six, that is your chocolate. So you can see here, remember how I said they're kind of a cinnamon shade. If we're looking at these, you can tell that that is a cinnamon tone. Next up, you have dash six five. I think these are underutilized, but should be used a lot more because it's a chocolate first, but if somebody doesn't want to see red or copper, it's a gold reflection. So if they don't mind warmth, they just don't want to see red or copper, dash six five is absolutely stunning. I also love using these for low lights and hair because that gold, again, acts as a filler and leaves a really beautiful end result. Now, both the Dash 6.5 and also the Dash 4.6 are available in Vibrance as well. So I will low light sometimes in Agora Real and sometimes in Vibrance. So we do have a demi-permanent line called Agora Vibrance, and most of these shades will be available there as well. Now, next up, you have the Dash 6.8. You heard me talk about this on that first slide. This is that chocolate red. I think of these as the cherry cola of the line. Literally, if I get a cherry cola and they set it down in front of me, the sun before the sun hits, it looks like a rich chocolate shade. And then the sun comes in and I see that red reflection. That's what these shades are. They're absolutely stunning. One of my favorites in the range. Then you have your dash seven and dash seven seven. So that's your copper and copper extra. So again, one number after the, after the dash is a natural copper shade. But if you have two numbers after the dash, that's your copper extra. That's an intense copper shade. Dash 88. That's going to be my red extra. We have everything from a level four to a level six. What you'll notice is our reds are a true red. They're not a warm red. They're not a cool red. They're a neutral red shade. I absolutely love our red series. And then you have your Dash 99 series, which is your violet extra. So if you're looking for a cooler violet shade, a level four is a really beautiful cooler violet shade. A level six is going to be a little bit warmer violet, and here's the why behind it. If we think of how you come up with violet, it's blue and red mixed together. Those equal parts are going to create a pretty deep violet shade. To make it a little bit lighter, you're adding a little more red. To make it a little bit darker, you're adding a little more blue. So I like to say that a level four dash nine nine is going to be more of a cooler violet and a level six is going to be a little warmer violet and then of course nine dash nine eight one of my personal favorites you'll see that right back here in my hair i definitely have used that in my color formulation so i love that it's a really beautiful magenta shade so again all of these shades on their own give you a, up to 70 percent white coverage and you're going to mix two parts of your fashion shade to one part of anything that covers white to get 100 percent white coverage now let's move on into some other more fun stuff, um, as if that wasn't fun enough. So next I wanna talk about our Agora Royal High Lift. So these also just got a refresh, if you will. We now have a fiber bond technology, but with True Lift Complex. So during the process of lifting, when you're lifting bonds, there is the possibility of breaking bonds. So we've actually added a fiber bond technology within these colors. So in the tube of color is this fiber bond technology, and this fiber bond technology is creating a protective barrier over each and every bond. So think of it as if my hand is a bond, if we think of it Christmas, when you bring a Christmas tree home, they always put that little net around the Christmas tree that helps protect the Christmas tree. Think of the fiber bond technology being a sustainic acid that actually creates its own net around each and every bond, protecting it as you're lifting. That is in this brand. Now, if we look also at the True Lift Complex, that's going to give you a cooler end result. So it's going to give you the high performance lift, but it's going to counteract those warm undertones for that superior cool end result. So these shades are actually now cooler than what they even wore before, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. So let's take a look at these shades and break them down for you. So there's two series. There's a 10 series and a 12 series. This is your 10 series. Notice we do have two new shades, 10-19, which is that Sandre Violet, and 10 dash 
49, which is going to be a beige violet. These shades are meant for virgin hair only. They will give you up to four levels of lift. Because they're virgin hair only, they're great for a high lift retouch, or maybe somebody came in with virgin hair and just wanted highlights. I could easily use this. This is meant for level seven and above. So if my client is lower than a level seven, this is not recommended. So if my client is a level seven, then I'm going to be using my 40 volume Agora Real developer. If my client is naturally a level eight or above, then I'll want to use my 30 volume Agora Real developer to achieve that up to four levels of lift. It is mix a one to one mixing ratio and your timing is going to be 30 to 45 minutes, 30 minutes for fine hair and up to 45 minutes for coarse hair. Now, if you're looking for maximum lift, that's when you're going to move into the 12 series. So your 12 series gives you up to five levels of lift. So this is going to be a high range of lift and a little less control, so a little less pigment weight. So because these are a higher lift, when I see 12, I'm automatically going to think one to two. So this is the only part of the range that is mixed, one part color, two parts developer. Everything else is a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So when I see 12, it's telling me one to two. So these also for, are for virgin hair only. So it could be a high lift retouch. Maybe I've been doing a bleach and tone, but I can get away with a high lift retouch instead. I could use this. Or highlights on virgin hair. My money piece I have in front before I turned it copper, I was actually using either a 10 or a 12 series to get my money piece because I have a finer hair texture. I have lighter eyes and lighter skin, and I'm a great candidate for the high lift. Now with this, again, if my client is a level eight or above, 30 volume is enough. If my client is a level six or seven, because this is for level six and above, then I'd want to use my 40 volume Agora Real developer. Moving on, I wanna talk about our toners. So I know I just said toners and you're seeing on the screen pastel shades 9.5 series. Whenever you see 9.5, that is not a level nine and a half. That means that it is a pastel shade, it is a toner. That pigment weight is more translucent, so it's meant for your levels nine or above. So these are meant to be used with your Agora Real 10 volume developer, mixed in a one-to-one -one ratio. So these are not going to give you gray coverage at all. It's up to maybe 30% white blending because it's meant more for toning. Now you might ask, why would I use a toner in a permanent range? Well, if you watch our Agora Vibrance intro class, you'll know that we actually have eight different toners within Agora Vibrance, but sometimes you need a permanent toner and here are the things I like to do with it. So say I wanna do a base bump and I wanna tone my highlights at the same time. I will tell you my personal favorite formula, 9.5-1, which is my Sandre, because what it's going to do is it's going to bump my base with just 10 volume and it's gonna to tone my highlights at the same time. And because of that Sandre end result, I'm not gonna get a warm lift it's going to be just a beautiful natural lift. So I love using my 9.5-1 with my 10 volume Agora Real developer for a base bump and to tone my highlights at the same time. You only need five to 10 minutes, five minutes on fine hair and 10 on coarse. The other reason I might use a permanent toner is maybe I've lifted her, but I'd like to get a little extra lift. So because there is ammonia in these toners, you have the ability to even shift the hair a little further. So maybe I choose a permanent toner so that I can actually lift that hair a little bit as well. I've also used them in a corrective situation. So say I toned her with Agora Vibrance and the color went a little too deep or too cool. I can actually take my permanent toner and put over top of it. It's going to swell the cuticle just enough to release that other pigment weight and then put in the pigments you want here. So I've given you three different ways that you can use the pastel toners, but just remember, that this is not a level nine and a half, it truly is a toner with a more translucent pigment weight. So moving into some of our creative mix tones. These are gonna be our neutralizers. So 0-11, which is my Sandre Extra, which is that blue-violet, 0-22, which is my blue, and 0-33, which is my green. So we've got the ash and then we've got the matte. Now, when we're talking about these, I always like to think of these as what level I'm going to use them on. So I've got the swatch right here. So when we're looking at this swatch, it's the same as the swatches we're seeing here. 0-11 is this right here. That's going to be that Sandre or blue violet kicking out unwanted yellow orange. So it's 
If I'm using it on my levels eight and above, I only want to use up to 5% of my formula. If I want to see this tone, I can use a lot more, but if I don't want to see the tone and I'm using it in a corrective instance, it's only up to 5% of my tone of my formula, and I'm going to add developer for the amount that I'm adding into it. So for instance, if I did say 30 grams of 9.5-1, and say I did one gram of 0-11, then I would need 31 grams of my Gore Real 10 volume developer. Now my 0-22 is a bloom. So this is gonna be that ash or blue color. So with this, I am going to use this mainly on level six and seven because I'm gonna be kicking out the unwanted orange. So at the level six and seven, I can use up to 15% of my formula. If I don't wanna see that tone, if I wanna see blue, I can use as much of this in my black formula as I want if I wanna see blue. But if you're just trying to neutralize at a level five to seven, only up to 15%. My 0-33 is my green or my matte. And that one I'm going to use in levels five and below because I'm kicking out unwanted red. So I can use up to 50 or up to 25% of my color formula if I'm level five and below. So when I look at these swatches, the top one I think 5%, 15%, 25%. So five, 15, 25. Again, if I don't wanna see that shade, those are my percentages. If I don't mind seeing green, I can add as much as I want to my formula, but the key there is to make sure that you're adding the amount of developer that you need for that as well. Now, we're gonna move on to the next one. The next one is going to be our boosters. So our boosters are very similar in the fact that they're going to boost my color. So if I really wanted to see an intense shade, I can actually boost my color by adding up to 50% of my formula with my booster and developer added in a one-to-one -one ratio. So for instance, if I did 6-88, level six red extra, and I really wanted to make it punchy, say I did 20 grams of 6-88, and then I added 20 grams of 0-88, so my no level, dash 88, so my booster, 20 and 20 is 40. So I would need 40 grams of my Gore Real 10 volume developer. So I can add up to 50% of my formula with my booster and added developer. Now these can also be used as fillers for the hair. So I wanna talk about that as well. There are three shades you can use for filling. You've got your 0-55, which is your gold, 0-77, which is your copper, and 0-88, which is your red. If you're gonna use these as fillers in the permanent range, you're gonna add one part of your booster to two, three parts of hot water. So one part booster, three parts hot water, I like to put that in a spray bottle, spray it in the hair, comb it through evenly, let it sit for up to 20 minutes, then rinse that from the hair, blow dry the hair, and then you can put on your final formula. I always say if you're going to be filling the hair with Agora Riel, then your final formula needs to be Agora Riel. If you're filling with Vibrance, final formula Vibrance. So again, these are boosters. They're meant to boost your color. Now, just please note that if you are using this to boost your color, it will also give you less white coverage. So you won't get as much white coverage. It will reduce that white coverage if you're adding it to a formula. So moving on to our next one, this is our E-1. E-1 is going to be our Sandre extract. And our Sandre extract is going to be uh, a very cool shade. So it's when I really wanna see a smoky look. So a lot of people get confused between E-1 and 0 one one. So I'm gonna show you the swatch so you can see the difference between them. 0-11 is really meant as a neutralizer. You can see it's got this light lilac color to it. My E-1 then down here, notice how deep it is because it's almost actually like a gray with a blue violet reflection. It's meant to add smokiness or a cool tone direction. So that being said, it's really great save if I wanted a really beautiful kind of slate gray shadow root, I could take 8-11, my level eight Sandra Extra, add in my E-1 and get a really smoky end result. You'll notice that B. Seen, who is Lynn Fan on Instagram, he actually uses E-1 in a lot of his pastel formulations to make it a smoky result. So this is really meant to smoke out. You will add developer in a one-to-one -one ratio when you are using these shades. When we're looking at the mixing ratio, just remember if you're at a level eight or a seven or eight, only one part of your color formula should be E-1. So two parts of your desired shade and only one part E-1. If you're a level five or six, you can actually use up to half of your formula with E-1 and add in developer in a one-to-one -one ratio. If you're a level four or below, you could actually do two parts of E-1 and only one part of your desired shade. So you can use a lot of this. This is again meant to be that 
cool extract is meant to give you a smoky end result. So let's look at some more tools because we have lots of them. The next one I wanna talk about is Pastel Fire. So Pastel Fire is actually going to replace what used to be E-0. E-0 was essentially giving you an extra lift in your color formula. This will also give you an extra lift, but it also has two other jobs. So this can give me one extra level of lift in a color formula. It has a Sandre color direction and it can dilute my formula. So if we think E-0 used to just give me lift, so does this. E-1 is going to be my Sandre extract. That's a cooler end result. So is this, but it's not as cool as E-1. 0-00, which is my clear, helps to dilute a formula. So does this, but there's a slight Sandre tint to it. So it's like as if those three tools had a baby, it would be this. So I like to think of this, say I'm doing a color melt on somebody, and I have, say I have even 9-98 on my new growth. I love that 9-98, it's a level nine and it's a violet red, but I want it to be softer and cooler in the middle area. So maybe I add two parts of my pastel fire for the middle area, but then I want it to be even cooler and softer and more rosy on the end. So maybe I do five parts of pastel fire on the end. So I can create this true color melt and I know that I have a cooler end result to it as well. Now, that being said, if I am mixing it into a formula and I am trying to get extra level of lift, think how that Sandra can help. So say I'm trying to take somebody from a level four to a level seven, and I'm not sure they're gonna quite get there. I can actually add my pastel fire into my formula to kick up and give me that one extra level of lift, but I still have that Sandra color tone to help to neutralize at the same time. So I hope that makes sense. There are three different ways to use this. If you follow Leslie Jennison, she uses this all the time in her color formulas, and it is a really great tool to have, and she's actually the one that came up with it, so enjoy. So next up, 0-00. This was previously called D-0. D-0 was our diluter. It has been replaced with 0-00 so that we are the same in Agora Vibrance, our demi-permanent, as we are in Agora Real, our permanent. So this will dilute my shade. So I can use up to 50% of my shade with my 0-00 and add a developer in a one-to-one -one ratio to dilute a formula. So let me give you a for instance. Say I want, so in Agora Real, we have 6-88 is the lightest red shade we have. But say I want it to be closer to say like a 9-88 instead, but I don't have a 9-88. I can actually take say 20 grams of 6-88 and 20 grams of 0-00, and that's gonna dilute my formula and give me something closer to a level nine, but it's also going to not give me white coverage. So if I'm looking for white coverage, I wouldn't wanna use this in my formula, but this is a great way to dilute a color formula, giving it a softer pastel shade. That is our 0-00. So let's move on here. Fashion Lights. Fashion Lights is probably one of my favorites in the range. It is in this purple box here, and there are only these five shades, but this is going to give you up to five levels of lift and tone, wait for it, even on previously colored hair. Yes, I said even on previously colored hair. So one thing to note, these shades are actually put on a level five swatch. So when we're looking at the swatch that's in your Agora Real color book, this swatch here has the shades, these were put on a level five swatch. So if I put L-77, which is my copper extra on a level five swatch, I know that this is the result I will achieve. If I started at say a level two, I'm only going up to a level five, so it may not look as vibrant as this. So this is what it looks like on a level five swatch. This is mixed in a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. Your processing time is 30 to 45 minutes, 30 minutes on virgin hair, 45 minutes for previously colored for these. The other part to this is it will lift quicker on virgin hair than it will on previously colored. So if somebody did have their hair, you know, colored, but they had two inches of new growth, you might either use 30 volume on the new growth and 40 for min length and ends, or just color her hair first so everything's colored and then go through. This is off scalp only. These are meant to be off scalp only. So if somebody wanted a really vibrant red everywhere like my red, you would use this for min length and ends. So maybe you put foils in the hair and you paint this color on the foil and then go back through with a 9-98 and 30 volume for the new growth so you can get that color as well. So it's really great for highlights in the hair. Say somebody is a brunette and they really just wanted red highlights but you don't have time for a double process, this is a great tool. Now I can actually highlight her hair with my L-88 which is my fashion light 
Red Extra, and I know I'm going to give her red highlights right away. This works amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, it's at Amber Hug, A-M-B-E-R-H-U-G. On that page, you will see a video where I've done this, and I did lift a mannequin from level five to a beautiful, vibrant red, so check that out. Now, these shades also have that fiber bond technology inside of them. So you'll see this little hexagon, and that means that it has the fiber bond technology. So it is also protecting the hair as you're lifting. And these shades are intermixable with each other, but not with a red box. So don't mix a purple with a red, but these can be intermixed. So for instance, say I wanted kind of a rosy shade, I could mix mainly L-00, my natural, with my L-89, my red violet, and that'll add just a little bit of a pinky tone. So I can actually intermix these shades, but you're not meant to mix fashion lights with Agora Rail shades. So again, a really great tool in the toolbox. If you're new to the brand, definitely give, make sure you get these five shades because they are absolutely amazing. So another part of the range that I absolutely love are our Agora Royal Absolutes. If you're new to Agora Real, this is actually something you should have in your dispensary because these are pre-blended fashion shades and your coppers, your golds, your chocolates, and your reds pre-blended for you for 100% white coverage. Amazing, right? So I no longer have to think about it. I want my beautiful red formula. I can actually get it in my Agora Royal Absolutes and get great coverage. So let's talk about the technology first and foremost. So there is a pro-age complex within this range. That pro-age complex is a combination of ciliamines and collagen. The ciliamines are gonna go on the outer layer of the cuticle and really smooth that hair cuticle. And then the collagen is gonna go in and fill those brittle sites. So the hair is actually going to feel better after it's colored with this than it did before. It's also going to give you that maximum shine. It has that low odor technology and best of all, 30% more pigment weight. So I'm gonna have more pigment weight, which means I'm gonna get better white coverage. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the shades that we have within this range. First though, let's talk about your mixing ratio, just like everything else, one-to-one -one mixing ratio, 30 to 45 minute processing time. So 30 minutes on fine hair and 45 for coarse. Now take a look at the shade selection. When we look, you'll see we also have some cooler shades. So starting on the left, you've got a dash 01, which is my natural Sandre and then dash one zero, which is Sandre Natural. These are gonna be the coolest shades in the range. You've got a level seven and a level eight. Those are gonna, again, give you 100% white coverage. Dash one four zero, that is very similar to our dash one four, Sandre Beige. If I like the most beautiful natural shade, dash zero is beautiful, but I like to mix my Sandre with my Beige to create the most beautiful natural shade. And this has been pre-blended for me. I don't even have to make it. So I'm obsessed with the dash 140 range. Dash 40 is my beige natural. Again, that natural is there for the white coverage. My dash 460, remember the nude shades in Agora Real? These are the new shades pre-blended for white coverage for you. Amazing. Dash 47, even better than the dash 57 because it is a beige copper. So it's a more natural auburn tone. I love this for any of my clients that need dry coverage and definitely want to have a natural auburn tone. These are perfect for it. Dash five zero is my gold natural. Dash five six zero is my gold chocolate and natural. Again, that natural covering the white coverage for me. The dash six zero is my chocolate natural. So it's chocolate, but formulated for gray coverage for me. Dash seven zero, copper natural. So again, it's copper. So I'm gonna get a beautiful copper shade, but it's already pre-formulated for me for gray coverage. So I don't have to wonder how much is seven dash seven seven and how much is seven dash zero do I need? I don't have to worry about that because I know that I can just grab a tube of 7 70. I'm going to get a beautiful copper shade and get my white coverage. 7 710. Stunning. It's a softer copper. So as we get more mature, sometimes those vibrant colors aren't as flattering because our skin tone changes as well. So the 7 710, because it's got that Sandre, which is blue violet, it's actually softening that copper shade and giving a more natural look to your copper. So I love the 7-710 as well. Then you have your dash 80, which is gonna be that red natural. Again, if I want a beautiful red shade, like, you know, beautiful red shade, but I don't wanna to have to worry about formulating for it. I know that this is gonna give me that 100% white coverage and it's pre-blended for me. I know that it's gonna come straight from that box and look beautiful. Now these shades are not meant to be mixed either with a red box. So if I'm using this taupe colored box that says absolute, it's not to be mixed with my Agora Real shades. However, I can intermix within 
just make sure you're only mixing two shades together. So for instance, say 6-80, I wanna soften that a little bit. So maybe I soften it with 6-460, my nude shade. Because these are pre-blended, we don't know all the different shades behind them. So you really don't wanna start mixing three or four shades. But if I did wanna dilute a shade slightly, or like make its intensity a little less, I can mix within it with one other shade, but never mix these with the Agora Real, especially because you won't have that Pro H complex in Agora Real. The other thing I wanna point out, when we were talking about this, I told you that there's 30% more pigment weight in these. So it follows the same rule as the dash zero zero, where if it's 90 to 100% white, 20 volume Agora Real developer is recommended. If it's under 90% white, then that's when you would want to consider using your 30 volume Agora Real developer, mainly to make that balloon a little more sheer for your coverage. Now, there is another segment to the Agora Real Absolutes that I'm obsessed with, and it comes in this white box. They are called our silver whites. Silver whites were actually meant to be true tonal refiners for natural silver white hair. Look at this model's hair. She looks stunning. Natural silver white hair is beautiful, but sometimes it lacks shine. It lacks the collagen and silymines that we need. Its texture is just not as nice. So because these shades are part of the absolute range, they have that pro age complex that's going to have the silymines to smooth the hair cuticle and the collagen to plump up the hair, but it's going to enhance the natural salt and white pepper, salt and pepper hair. So with these, it is meant to be mixed with your Agora Real 10 volume developer in a one-to-one -one ratio. This is meant to act like a demi-permanent, so your development time is only up to 20 minutes. This is going to neutralize your yellow and brassy tones with no visible regrowth. It will fade off of the hair. Now let's take a look at these shades and how to use them. So there are four different shades, not a lot. There's silver, which is the lightest of the shades. Dove gray and gray lilac are both medium gray shades, just the gray lilac has a blue-violet tint to it, and then slate gray is the darkest of the shades. Slate gray is really great for somebody who has, let's say, level five dark hair, and they just want the white hair to not be as dark. This will help to color the, the white hair, but not do anything to the darker hair. So you can use these in their pure form. I can take silver by itself with 10 volume Agora Real developer and a one-to-one -one ratio up to 20 minutes and get that really great refinement. I can also soften them. That silver is my lightest shade, so it can be mixed with the other three shades to soften those shades. So say I like gray lilac, but I want it to be a little softer. I can add my silver into my formula to make it softer, or I can actually mix my Agora silver white into a treatment that will help to dilute it. So for instance, maybe the silver is too deep. So I could do one part of my silver, one part of a treatment, and then I do equal parts of my developer. So if I did 20 grams of silver, 20 grams of treatment, it would be 40 grams of my Agora Real developer 10 volume. And that's going to give a softer look that lasts less time. These will last up to 20 shampoos, but only up to 10 if you're doing it in the diluted form. Now, what I love is that you can get creative with them. So if we're looking at her, you can see how she has some darker shades in her hair. If somebody's all white, I could take some dove gray or gray lilac and put some low lights through her hair and maybe refine everything else with silver. Also, if she's growing out her previously colored hair and she wants it to look silver, these are perfect for that. So for instance, if from here to here, I'm naturally silver, but the rest is all previously colored. I can actually first highlight the hair with micro highlights throughout the hair and get it to a pale yellow, like inside of a banana peel yellow. Then I'm going to pre-tone with either a silver shampoo or 9.5-1 is amazing. So I pre-tone with that first. Then my final formula over even the silver can be my Agora Royal Absolute Silver Whites to refine everything and give that silver tone. So a lot of people ask if they can use these as silver toners, and they you can as long as you're following the rules of creating a silver toner. So love these. Again, something you won't find anywhere else. So last but not least in the Agora range is our Agora Vario Blonde Lighteners. There are two of them. I'm going to start with our original one, which is our Vario Blonde Plus. The cool thing about Vario Blonde Plus is that it actually comes in an extra, extra large. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that container. So we have an XXL with this one. So this is our Vario Blonde Plus. It is a white or light gray container, but you'll notice that this is actually a blue powder inside. So a blue powder, but that blue powder is not blue for any reason to actually like neutralize the hair. It already has that anti-yellow technology. It's more there so that your client doesn't see the yellow as it's their processing. 
So taking a look at some of the mixing ratios. So with this, it is a distinct one to two mixing ratio, one part powder lightener, two parts developer. This is gonna develop from 20 to 45 minutes and give you up to seven levels of lift. Notice this also has this little hexagon. That means there's fiber bond technology inside. That means it's going to protect those bonds as you're lifting. What that also means is that if you're using any sort of bonding agent, we used to have Fiberplex uh, that you could add into your lightener. You would no longer need to add that into our lighteners because you don't need a bonding agent. It's already within this range. So no need to add any outside bonders. It will give you up to seven levels of lift. And this is a really great creamy consistency. Uh, and it's going to be something that can be used for caramel highlights. It's on scalp up to 20 volume, off scalp up to 30 volume, Agora Real developer, and just a really great everyday lightener. Now you'll notice that we do have another lightener as well, and it is in a blue container. So this is our Vario Blonde Super Plus. So the main difference between these two is that this one is actually going to have a white powder. So I'm gonna show you the white powder within this one. So this actually has a white powder in it. So even though it's a blue container, that is a white powder within it. This one has a slightly more gritty consistency, but it follows a lot of the same rules. So it's going to be a mixing ratio of one part powder liner and two parts of your Agora Real developer. It can be used on or off scalp, on scalp up to 20 volume, off scalp up to 30 volume. Its main difference is this gets up to eight levels of lift. If you're somebody that likes to see exactly where your client's color is, when you're lifting, this is a really great option for you because it's a white powder. You'll see the yellow color exactly where it's at. Whereas if you use Vario Blonde Plus, you're gonna have that blue tint, so you might wipe the lightener off to make sure you know exactly where you're sitting. The, the Vario Blonde Plus, which again, was gonna be that uh, white container or gray container, the Vario Blonde Plus here, seven levels of lift. Vario Blonde Super Plus, eight levels of lift. That's your biggest difference. They're both going to process 20 to 45 minutes. They're both on or off scalp up to 20 volume, off scalp up to 30. They both have anti-yellow technology to them and they're both really great lighteners. You can carry both in the salon or if you like one better than the other, you can choose one, but they're both really great lighteners for everyday lightning in the salon. Now, that is the end of our Agora Real presentation, but just remember that you can find all of our other presentations on our YouTube channel. So it's Schwarzkopf Professional USA on YouTube, and we've got one for Agora Vibrant, for Blonde Me, for Color 10, for anything you need to learn. But this is the one that will kind of set you up for success for all of the others. But don't forget to follow us also on our social media, but then also check out our academy, which is our ask-elearning.com. We also have our website where we have ticketed seminars, so that's our schwarzkopf-professionalusa.com. On there, you can buy tickets to any upcoming events that we have. But also, again, don't forget to follow us on social. We are on Instagram as at schwarzkopfusa, and we are on Facebook as at schwarzkopfprofessionalusa. Again, you can also follow me on Instagram. It is at Amber Hug. And, uh, Feel free to follow me. I do constantly put different things on my page. So at Amber Hug on Instagram. Also make sure that you're checking us out on at Schwarzkopf USA and Schwarzkopf Professional USA. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Come back to YouTube to check out all our other videos and learn everything that you need to about that. And I hope that you all have a great day and watch this again if you really need to learn more. Thank you. Bye.